I'm Josh. I'm working on my PhD in Islamic studies. My areas of interest are Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. I'm Charlie. I've danced also with cocaine bandits in Colombia, surfed across the border into Mexico, and I have a master's in applied linguistics. I'm Nate. I grew up in Bolivia. My specialty is radical Shia politics. I've edited a book on Hezbollah, and I've had tea with some of the wealthiest men in the Middle East. We surf, dodge bullets, and we go to the ends of the earth for the sake of adventure. You can call us Black Box. After a week and a half in Lebanon, we had gotten a whole ton of footage. We had been to the south and seen the whole entire south lit up. We had been to southern Beirut and seen all of Hezbollah's neighborhood totally smashed. And you never know what's going to happen. You know, all your footage is going to get confiscated if you're going to have a big fiery accident. So we made the call to get the footage out. This time, Lebanon was on total lockdown. We were literally told 18 times that no one can leave the country. Moving around was getting harder with just a regular car. And to get around bomb craters and to get across bridges, you needed a means of transportation that was much more mobile, much lighter. So Josh and Charlie acquired some mopeds and scooters. We bought the Scoot Scoot. We're going to mod it all the way across the Bacar to Damascus. DHL is the only one running stuff right now, the DHL in Beirut. It was going to take eight to 10 days to get anything out. The DHL in Damascus would do it in three. But all the rest of the roads were shut down. Naturally, we decided to go over the eastern border. Basically, everyone, everyone here from journalists to locals to uh, government officials says uh, that we're, we're just crazy, um, that we have a death wish. So this isn't a, this is not necessarily a style move. We, we're not riding Vespas back home. <laughs> this is purely a carry it over the bomb crater move and get 70 miles to the gallon. So here we go. we got were awesome, man. Those things, love at first sight. Yeah, the first couple hours were really fun. It, it's a black mountain scenery. It, it feels a little bit like Italy. And it's all these beautiful houses, and we're just scooting along on our little scoot scoots and having a great old time. Once you, you cross the border, you drop into the valley. It's a historically it's a solid Hezbollah area. It's mixed, and it's not entirely Hezbollah supporters, but that's where they do a lot of their training camps. Israeli army just went into Baalbek yesterday, which is one of the biggest cities in the Bekaa. They're hitting hard the Bekaa right now, so scooting across there is going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, now we're going into no man's land. You can tell how empty the roads are. Nobody is friggin' going to say because it's going to blow up tonight. right now is one of the hottest zones probably in the whole world. Everybody is entirely skittish and crazy and I'm sure there's spies there and I'm sure they, they're they getting information so yellow. What can you do? What can we do? We can sit and get in trouble for hours on end is what we can do. Yeah, no, they were pissed. You had the fuck. Like, no, you're, you're Israelis taking taking film, you know, to to guide the bombings. Like, it, like they're they're majorly mad. Oh, frick! Drones are out. The drones are. We got a jam. Starting. We got a bail. Damask. We didn't know at the time, but the drones carried bombs that took out the were specifically targeted scooters driving on that road. So we were, we were sitting ducks and moving targets at the same time. <laughs> A lot of our experiences on this midnight scooter run 
we're unfilmable, and there's no time to be turning on the camera and, and even trying to goof around with that. Okay, so we're in no man's land between Lebanon and Syrian border. The road's a mess. It's all bombed out. Um, there's, there's cars everywhere. We got through with the bikes. We're trying to make it through. Uh, everyone at the border post is like crazy. What just happened? <laughs> the Syrian soldiers just pulled out, but we don't have paperwork for the bikes at all. We just bought them today, and all we have is receipts. You're not supposed to take cars or bikes into Syria. I mean, that's the rule, at least. They pulled up all gruff and getting all pissed. When they realized we drove from Beirut today, they just laughed about it and said, you have a good time. <laughs> that's because it's 40 kilometers. <laughs> off we go. <laughs> film off at DHL. The guy let it go, made a call and let it go. So yeah, between borders and DHL and everything has been a Syrian dream experience. So we're headed back north now, uh, back to Beirut. It got bumped heavily last night, so we're gonna race straight there. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get across the border, no problem and all that kind of stuff. Ich muss jetzt hier, da machst du, du hast jetzt...